Hello everyone, it is Katie Wilson, the Volunteer and Community Coordinator here at Cranley Arts. Today I am joined by Liz Townsend, uh, a Parish Councillor and Surrey County Councillor, and also um, Marilyn Reynolds, who's one of my lovely volunteers. And we are part of the team that is working on the Decorator Bollard project, which hopefully many of you have already um, seen uh, advertised. We launched it at Cranley Bounces Back, but we've been working on it for quite a while. So um, Liz came to me uh, in March, we've just remembered, uh, it seems uh, a long time ago now, um, with the idea. So Liz, what was the inspiration behind it? How did you come up with the idea? I can't claim that it was my idea, Katie. Um, a resident um, uh, uh, contacted me and said that they'd been to Winchester and that they had seen the decorated bollards there. And she thought it'd be a lovely idea for the high street, um, particularly now when we have um, got much more outdoor dirt dining in, in the high street now. Um, and to make it look better um, for people, you know, who were coming back to the high street, maybe after quite a long time. So I don't think she'd mind if I mentioned her name. It was, was, was Wendy Stone. Um, and uh, basically I then looked at the Winchester website and um, and some of the decorated bollards there were amazing. Um, most of them were based on on um, artists and artist theme. And um, obviously, Katie, after speaking to you, we had a couple of meetings, mm -hmm. and um, we decided that it might be a good idea for us to have a Cranley theme. So everything to do with Cranley, it could be about local charity, it could be about the local countryside, it could be school, um, the local police um, service. Um, so, you know, there were lots of ideas and themes that we suggested, but that doesn't preclude anybody coming up with their own Cranley idea as well. Um, so, as you said, we launched it at the Bounce Back, got a really good response from people. And, um, and I should say that um, the, we are having a competition so that people can put forward entries. And I'm sure Marilyn will say more about that. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll be very brief on that point. Um, so people can put in entries. We will then sort of judge the entries. And, and it could be that maybe two or three ideas and thoughts get put onto a bollard and they will be painted by professional artists. So as that is definitely not my sphere of knowledge, I probably will pass over to Marilyn now so that she can perhaps tell you more about the actual process and, and the artists potentially involved. Yeah, so Marilyn, give us a little bit more uh, information about that and why you decided to get involved. Well, when I heard about it, I thought it was a brilliant idea. And I thought, well, this is a project that all the community can get involved in, maybe a joint effort with friends or family or just your own inspiration. There are many subjects to choose from. I think a lot of the things we will be doing is to do with the village, the history of the village, sport in the village, maybe the carnival or even the bonfire night. But you could just let your imagination run riot and find your own ideas. So I made a mock-up uh, bollard which um, I have given to the art centre to display. And I was inspired by the Cranley Crane because it features on everything in Cranley from um, the societies and the parish council and lots of clubs that incorporate it in their sides. Um, the one that I was inspired by initially was the one in the old drinking fountain in Fountain Square which if you look up, which lots of people don't, you can see it on the very top of the old fountain. So I hope that people have been inspired to have a go and you don't need to be Van Gogh to, to have your design accepted, but you know, just get creative and who knows, your design could be chosen and you could be painted on a high street bollard by a professional artist for all to see. So Liz, tell us a little bit about how this is all being funded? Um, well, Waverley Borough Council um, was awarded some funding from the European Regional Development Fund, um, the ERDF funding, and that was to welcome people back to the high street. So to basically boost the look and feel of the high street 
Um, and it could be for lots of things, you know, sometimes street furniture, maybe planters and things. But we thought that the Bollard project would be a great way to, to welcome people back to the high street and do something that was completely different to, to the other areas in the borough. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember um, when you first came to me with the project, just being so excited about the, the way that we can get the community involved and that it's a lovely way to welcome people back. Uh, to Cranley after we've all sort of uh, been at home for so long but hopefully being at home has made us all really lovely and creative so how do you get involved I hear you ask well if you go to cranleyartcentre.org uh, and go to the bottom of the page and we have a news section if you look for the decorator bollard uh, news project um, article that we've published you've also got a template there um, you can download the template and use that uh, as a guide but Otherwise, you can just use a normal piece of paper. It just needs to be twice as long as it is wide. Um, you can then email it back to us at Cranny Arts Centre. All the details are um, in the article. Um, or you can post it through our letterbox. The deadline is July the 5th. Um, we can't wait to see what you come up with. We've already got some really wonderful, lovely designs from uh, all sorts of age ranges. So do get involved. It doesn't matter whether you're one or whether you're 99. We'd love to see what you can come up with. And in the meantime, take care and we'll see you all very soon.